Hello everyone and welcome. In this video I'm going to show you how you can start trading cryptocurrencies on Binance. Um, I'm going to show you the deposit and uh, placing an order. Uh, well, I'm actually going to place an order so stick around if you want to see how to do that. With all the hype coming back to crypto lately I, I decided I wanted to create some sort of short and easy to follow tutorial because I also had to watch a lot of tutorials back when I started and uh, it's not easy. It's not easy to, to know what to watch and what not to watch. Um, so it's really easy to get confused and uh, I think it's, uh, it's a nice way to give back to the community because I learned a lot. Uh, I learned a lot from, from watching videos and watching other people trade. So um, I hope you like this video. Uh, please Bear in mind that this is not financial advice. Please do your research and don't risk any money that you can't afford to lose. Okay? Very important. <laughs> so um, I chose Binance because they're they're really, really um, how can I say this? They they're constantly updating and creating new content like this uh, academy thing and the, the labs research. I'm not gonna cover this. I'm not going to cover these at all in this video, but if you're new, make sure you explore this because there's a lot of good resources here for you to, to learn. Um, and yeah, there's the margin trading too, that they're, um, they're actually inviting people to take part in this. Uh, if you're starting out, please don't, don't mess around with margin trading. <laughs> um, yep, that's it. So. Let's go ahead and try Binance 2.0. And over here we have the new Binance 2.0. Um, it's basically the same, but they did put this banner. It, it looks more modern, I, I would say. Um, but we're not here to talk about the, the design. Let's talk about uh, how you can make your deposit on Binance. So I'm already logged in. You have my account information here, along with some shortcuts. Um, this is the same as I showed you before. The exchange, wallet, support, and more. I'm going to go ahead and select the deposit. So over here, you have the, the coin uh, the coin selection. I mean, if I want to deposit Bitcoin, I would select BTC there and it would tell me my BTC address on Binance. So let's say you have some coins on Coinbase. Let's say you have BTC on Coinbase. You would come here, you would select BTC and it would show you the address that you needed to put on Coinbase. So you could transfer here. Okay, so it's very easy, you just copy the address, on Coinbase you select send to and just paste the, this address, okay? This way you can actually uh, have some balance to start trading, that's uh, the point of this video, right? <laughs> and uh, also this page here, the, um, the balance, this is where you will see the balance of your coins, how much do you have? How much is it worth it? Uh, actually, a nice development that they did with the Binance 2.0 is that now you can sort this in BTC value, which was something that it's incredible, but so much time that you you didn't you couldn't basically sort your your balances by their BTC value it was really annoying. But okay, uh, I digress. Anyways. This is your balance page and this is your deposit page. If you ever want to withdraw money, this is uh, where you would go. And in here, in the withdrawal page, you get to choose which coin you want to withdraw. And it will tell you what's, the, what's your balance, how much you have in orders, and how much you can withdraw. So, um, over here on this side, this is where you paste the address you want to send uh, your BTC to. Uh, so apparently, yeah, my BTC balance is just below the threshold of the minimal withdrawal. Um, but anyways, this is how you withdraw ca uh, 
BTC from Binance to another BTC wallet, let's say you wanted to transfer back to Coinbase. So you would put Coinbase address here and it would be sent there. Okay, so enough about this. Let's talk about the exchange and I'm going to do the basic. I'm going to show you the advanced later, but it's basically the same thing. It's basically the same thing. Yeah. And we get to the exchange. And if this is your first time in a in an exchange or a crypto exchange, I can see how this can be intimidating. So let's break it down in sections. Um, on the left side, you have the order book. And the order book is basically all the orders that are uh, uh, placed on the market for everyone to see. Um, so the guys in the red are the guys that want to sell in this case Cardano, they want to sell Cardano at this price and these amounts, okay, which are worth this amount of BTC, okay. So these guys want to sell and the lowest price that they're willing to sell is 755. And uh, if you go up, well actually you don't have but the order book continues. You can expand all the all the orders, and you can see only the, um, the the buyers or the sellers. Okay. I like to use it like this. And over here, you guessed it. It's the buyers, and the buyers want to buy the lowest price possible. That's uh, how markets work. And you can see that the numbers go in an opposite direction. So this is the highest bid for uh, Cardano and this is the lowest ask for Cardano. So this is the bid and this is the ask. You will probably hear these two terms uh, if you haven't already. Okay, Bidders, they're bidding to buy and the askers, askers doesn't sound like a word, well but they're asking this price to sell. Okay, very very easy. There are people who trade, there's people who trade mainly with the order books because you can really see, well, this is not a good example. Everything is kind of filled in green here, but you can see here in the depth of the order book, you can see all this information with a different visualization, okay? Uh, a way you can use this, uh, uh, the price should have been here well anyways let's say you want to sell and you're looking for the best place to put your sell order uh, let's imagine that uh, the price is showing up here so let's say this is seven let's say it's seven six six over here and <clears throat> So I know that if I place an order above 766, I'm going to have to wait for all this area to clean, to be cleared before my order is uh, sold. Okay. So if I wanted to move things, uh, to make things smoother or, or make my order fill a, a little before some of the volume here, I would simply move it a little bit lower and I wouldn't have to wait for this section here to be cleared. Okay, can be confusing. Um, I, I think it's pretty easy once you get a hold out of uh, what's a bid and what's an ask. Um, okay, so this is the order book. Uh, where can we go next? The chart. I don't like Binance uh, original view. Uh, I hate the color. The colors, it, they're just annoying. The pink, I really don't like this color. Um, not pink in general, but this particular pink just hurts my eyes. Uh, so I always use Trading View. Okay, Trading View. If you don't know, it's a really good platform. It has uh, all sorts of charts and uh, indicators for. Uh, the stock market and the cryptocurrency exchanges. So I always use the trading view chart over here. You have um, the time frame selection. 
and uh, it works really well uh, inside um, Binance website. Uh, <clears throat> over here you have the pairs, uh, the coins that you may buy um, or sell. You have a filter for your favorites. This is one of the new things they're developing, the margin trading. Uh, I haven't seen this before, but apparently you can use margin to trade all these pairs. That's nice to know. I don't use margin at all. And here you have the BTC pairs. So right now we're watching, we're, we're looking at Cardano here. You can filter based with a, a sort based in volume or percentage. You can sort over here. Matic. I don't know what this one is. Um, anyways, this is where you can select the market that you want to buy. Let's select TRX. So, TRX. We also have the trade history here, and this is just uh, the orders that are being filled in real time. You can see the market orders, and you can see uh, your own orders. I don't have any recent... Um, which token are we? TRX. I don't have any recent TRX orders, so it doesn't show anything here, but the market is constantly updating. Okay? And uh, it's time to look at this particular section. So you have, oh, this is this is new again. Margin, important reminder. Uh, it will only be available for invited users at the moment. Okay, I'm not going to talk about that. We have the exchange here. So, if you want to place an order, and I guess this is the whole point of what you're doing watching this video. Uh, you have three types of orders, the limit, the market, and the stop limit. This is uh, the most basic one, the limit. And um, it's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. This is the price with, which you want to buy and how many TRX you want to buy. I don't have enough uh, BTC to buy 1000 TRX but you can also use the percentages. So let's say I wanted to buy 100% of all my BTC holdings, which are here. You just click 100% and you buy at 300. Uh, cool thing about this, let's say you wanted to buy... So the thing with the order book, you see all these orders before uh, so 4 BTC worth of TRX. So if you place an order to buy here at 292, you will have to wait for all these guys to have their orders cleared. So it's it may take a while, okay? Uh, and you can, if this, okay? And you can probably see it here. So again, it should be some price below when I selected this, but it apparently doesn't show up. Um, but this huge step, it's it's this mountain, okay? Um, you can also uh, see some kinds of weird activity. Uh, it's called uh, spoofing and uh, wash trading. Uh, that's more advanced topics. But when you see this big uh, let's call it mountains, moving really fast, uh, cancelling orders, placing another, cancelling and putting another. It's probably bots, and it's not very um, recommended to trade on, on pairs that see a lot of those um, activities. Let's switch back to trading view, and um, I'm going to place an order. So let's now let's talk about market orders. So over here, the main, the only difference between limit and market is that in limit, you choose your price, how much you want to buy. Uh, yeah, let's say let's put let's put this one, and I want to buy 50% of my BTC holdings. Well, 100%. I want to buy at 292. So I'm selecting the price, the amount. And that's it. Just 
click buy so now you see your order you have this indicator here your order is inside this uh, 355k TRX tokens your order is right here so you have to wait for all this to clear until your order gets um, gets filled uh, so and you have here your open orders uh, apparently I have another pair uh, 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 yeah, I have a BTC order from, from a long time ago and you can see the order here is opened okay so if you decide to cancel simple just come over here cancel order deleted and you no longer have the indicator here okay oh, half a million TRX it's growing um, again if you wanted to sell it's the same exact thing uh, let me say okay I want to sell this price that's it I want to sell at this price and how much do I want to sell so I have this amount of TRX and let's say I want to sell this amount of TRX at 318 again it's okay to place this orders because it's gonna take a long time before it gets there so I'm not gonna sell my my positions um, that's it sell uh, limit order submitted and yep there it is same thing okay let's cancel this one and let's actually buy something uh, I wanted to buy what was the token Is it this one? Yeah. I was looking at a coin to buy uh, like while I was doing the video. I think this was the one I picked. Anyways, it's really not a big deal. Um, so if we move to market order, uh, what, the mar what the market order does is basically you don't select the price. You just want to buy it. And let's say I wanted to buy 100k of uh, Enigma. It, it, I don't even know how much this would be. 100k, this uh, 50, 50k. Um, the way this works is, of course, you have to have enough money to buy it. Otherwise, it won't fill um, in, like it won't fill 100% of your order. But if you want to uh, go ahead and buy regardless of the market price so let's move to the stop limit and here it's, it's more interesting because stop limits how, do, how does this work again don't confuse stop limit with stop loss and take profit it doesn't necessarily mean the same thing I mean it doesn't really mean the same thing uh, what what the stop limit order is is that you have to choose uh, stop price uh, you actually have some help here uh, stop limit order is an order to buy or sell a coin once the price reaches a specified price yeah okay they don't use the word stop or limit but okay once the price reaches uh, let's say let's pick something going down so once the price reaches four or five seven two I want to buy coins until five seven eight it's kind of so if the price ever reaches this I want a limit order to be placed at this price or at this price to be more lose less so if there's any market order any order at this price 4572 uh, an order a limit order would be placed in the market for this price or you can just go down and say okay if it gets to this level add one limit order a little bit below so I can get an even lower price it's not guaranteed that it's gonna fill the order if you put 74 
that's like if it gets to this price you would probably find an offer to to get this okay it it's um i think it's pretty easy to understand like this so the only difference is that the limit and the stop limit you have to um, select like a target which is called the stop and then is you decide which limit order you want to place and again it's the same thing uh, save and lower oh they actually explain if the last price drops to or below 4560 an order to buy for a, at the price will be placed okay so i <laughs> I should have just placed the order and let you read this. Uh, I think it's pretty clear. There it is. So right now at 4565, we don't have any order here. There's no indicator telling us we have an order because the price didn't reach that target yet. Okay. This is uh, what the stop limit is. I actually did forget to talk about the fees and um, I do use Binance tokens to pay for the fees. Uh, if you're an active trader and you have a lot of trades, um, the fees can eat up a lot of your profits. So any discount you can have on the fees are uh, is good, basically. And the way it works is if you're new, I think your the fee discount is around 50%, which is, uh, which is great. And I'm not really sure how the how the thresholds work. Oh, okay, that's it. That's it. Yeah. So um, you can read about it here. It's, uh, they explain how you convert and, and what uh, how does it work basically using BNB to pay for your fees. I strongly recommend it. And um, let's come back here and. Okay, let's switch over to the advanced. Uh, I, let's switch over. And over here in the advanced section, um, this is basically the same thing, but uh, this is more like a web app. So it's not like a web page where you can scroll down the page. So this is actually uh, more responsive. I like to use this. Uh, instead of the simple one you have the same options you have some drawing tools here you can see the open orders order history trade history and your funds on this section this is your let's call it trading station you have the same options as the other one and this is the order book you have again you can expand this and the trade history and the chart is exactly um, like trading view um, <clears throat> you can select the coins here. That's the only difference in terms of interface. Uh, you choose them here. Okay. I think that's it. Um, <clears throat> if you guys have any questions that you feel like I can help you, let me know in the comments. I'll try to I'll try to answer them. And um, yeah, that's it. If you don't have an account uh, on Binance and you feel like this video helped you in some way. You can thank me by using my referral link. I will leave it below. And thank you for that. And I'll also leave a referral link for Coinbase, which uh, if you don't have an account on Coinbase and you use it, you actually get $10 um, back, uh, cashback, uh, on your first purchase. So definitely check that out. And um, yeah, that's it. So please like the video if you did like it. And um, stay tuned for more. Thanks.